what's up you two MR2 here here's that battery bank now you look at the back back left corner there that's where the sources come in at and I've got two sources that come in one of them is the solar panels the other one's my like I said I got a big telephone pickup truck too just to fail so the electricity comes in at them two terminals positive and negative and they just uh, parallel on the parallel circuit wrap through all eight batteries right back out to where this goes these two terminals go off to the inverters in the house so you draw off this and input on that side output on this side you could do that parallel with as many batteries as you want really now uh, you got a, a, this is a 12 volt system parallel batteries you can series these batteries in fact, you could take those four, move the positive to the other negative, back to the other positive to the other negative, and series the batteries. This is a whole lot more complicated. At any rate, if you series two 12 volt batteries, you get 24 volts. If you series three of them, you get 36, and so on and so forth. At any rate, I kept it parallel to 12 volts simply because, you know, you can get power from other sources as long as you stay at that voltage. And they say it one of course done the worst in the days that it ain't we ain't got no uh no sunshine or I done run the battery dead or it's dark at night. Got a fail safe here, it goes to my pickup truck, just crank it up. You know, when the alternator will charge the battery bank just like it charges your car. Keep the truck full of gas anyway, so I mean that beat buying a generator, don't need to buy one of them. When you have a solar generator, you can run it as a vehicle, then use it as a gas generator as well. That's all about source. Here's the back side of one of these panels. You can see it's a little bit, a little bit hazy today. In fact, the sun's in a little bit of cloud right there. And typically, it's 18 volts here. And uh, some days, even though with no clouds whatsoever, some days they still go down, it'll be 15 volts. And then some days, like I said, no clouds whatsoever, it'll be 21 volts. So it, 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 the, uh, the output of the sun varies greatly from day to day, week to week. You got to check it regularly. At any rate, this input right now is 16.6 .6 volts, which charges the whole 12 volt system. Same thing the vehicle alternator would do. And I have a disconnect inside that disconnects the solar panels whenever I need to plug in the uh, the vehicle. Again, you can take that pigtail there and plug it into any vehicle as long as it's got gas in it. You have electricity in the house. So, I mean, you can't go wrong with the system because that, that little pigtail didn't cost $75, and that's, that's a gas generator. That's a five six hundred dollars gas generator right there. Made one out of your car. So maybe that video will help, man. Help folks out. Oh, yeah, where well, I did these poles, I put, you got, it's like three separate solar panels, 380 watt panels. And I just run them down here and put a number 12 wire down, you know, down underground over here to the wall. And I put a, I put a one off wire, big old wire down the wall here. And I just keep adding it right on down the wall and I put three of these solar panel poles to each one of these boxes. You know, that's so damp and that can go up to five hundred amps with this whole deal, so we had about eighty between sixty and eighty amps depending on the day what day you know the output is. And so as I add poles to the yard, every three poles I add I have one more box right down this wall. It just runs down the wall and I sleep. Goes around the corner to the, to the charge box. It goes in the back of that. And in there to the, to the battery bank. And again, you know, that's all tied into the other stuff that's in the house. So that's the, uh, that's the deal with the battery bank. Appreciate all y'all watching. Fair